lost tribes and promised land, the origins of American racism. Page 79. I happen to have the book somewhere in the house. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll just read this. But meanwhile, the apocryphal Ezra, Ezra's, which was, by the way, a book of uh, special importance to many new Christians, has a good deal to say about the origins of lost tribes. And this could not have passed lightly under Columbus or Columbus's somewhat mystical gaze. Surely he saw sp special meanings for his own times and for himself in this passage in 2 Ezra chapter 13, uh-oh, verses 2 to 5. And lo, there, were, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. So we all should be familiar with this. Uh, second Ezra chapter 13. What should come to mind? And I behold and lo, that man, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. First scripture pops into my head. A lot of scriptures pop into my head, but one scripture that pops in my head immediately is Daniel chapter 7 and 9, where it speaks about thousands and thousands of ten thousands ministered unto him. It was talking about the angels. Uh, also, Revelation chapter 12. <clears throat> and when he turned his countenance to look all things trembled that was seen unto him. And, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Because when the Lord comes back, when this uh, prophecy is fulfilled, missiles will be dropping on. See, Ezra saw this from the standpoint of the continent the, U the U.S. Like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. What fire is it talking about? The missiles and the lasers that come from the uh, chariots. And after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number Hosea uh, chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Romans 9. Well, mainly Hosea, because Romans quotes Hosea. From the four winds of the heaven, Matthew 24, to subdue the, the man that came out of the sea. So these are the other nations, mainly led by a NATO, and the leader of NATO is, is the U.S. Let me read a little bit more. I can't, it's not showing me the whole page. I'm not, I'm not going to look for the book. But this, I may come back and go to the book, go to the actual book that I have. But this warlike multitude is a do by the man, Yahweh Shai, from the sea. It tells you in Revelation 17, they're going to look, NATO's going to look to make war with the lamb and shall be overcome. And the lamb shall overcome them. And another multitude, a peaceable one, those are the Israelites, come to him, whereof some glad, some were sorry, some 
of them were bound slavery and others some brought of him that were offered that is brought him slaves from their midst how could how could the I can hardly see that exaltability I guess it is visionary Columbus not have seen now I got to get the book. Now I got to bring the book out. Wait me for a minute. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, it just popped up. So if you go to uh, Lost Tribes Promised Land um, and you go to page 79 you can read the rest of it let's see what this is right here Okay, this is on a uh, document, document on the uh, King James, the, the Hebrew Israelite. They had um, gathered uh, 47 uh, scholars to uh, translate the book from Hebrew, Greek, and English, King James Version. Um, Elizabeth died in 1603. This is when Jake was ruling. You had, you had Esau coming in, but Jake was still in power. Just like today, you got a lot of Jakes in high position, so we're slowly taking the power. That's why, you know, these small hats are coming out in arms because you got Jakes that are not following the, the, the script, so to speak. Give you two examples, Ye, uh, Kanye West, um, and uh, Kyrie Irving. So they're demonizing him now. There's no one nigga, Stephen A. Smith, and he caught he caught the C the C nineteen again. The crown passed to to James the first, who had been king of Scotland thirty seven years as James uh, the sixth. I can, I can hardly see this. Hear me for a minute. Replace the bishops. Keep the bishop's name out of your mouth. <laughs> well, now he graduated to an uh, uh, a, uh, apostle now. The Acts of the Apostles. They're the Acts of the Apostles. So they had, he had to be an apostle. He said 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek. But shalom to y'all. I -U -I -C. I'm going to say shalom. Shalom to you, men in, uh, and women in uh, IUIC. 47 of the best. See, I'm still in Bishop Nate's style. I'm reading these little books here. I'm still in the style. I used to do this years ago, going to these books. And so 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups, three for the OT, two for the, for the new the Old Testament and New Testament, and one for the Apocrypha. That's why the original King James, if you get a King James Bible and there's not an Apocrypha in it, it's not the original King James. The King James consists of the Apocrypha, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha. Two of the groups met at Oxford. Wait a minute. Oxford, Oxford was was uh, built by uh, by Jake. This is when Jake was in power. I got to go into the history of Oxford. Two of the groups met at Oxford. Two at Cambridge. That's why to this very day, o Oxford and Cambridge produce 
suppress apocryphus. You had the black apocrypha and the red apocrypha, which we normally have. I remember back in the day, we had the black one too. And two at Westminster, when a group had completed its task, its work was submitted to 12 men, two from each panel. So there's a lot of history here. The history is coming out, the truth is coming out. Let me come back over here. Let me see what this is all about. The hidden, and, the hidden ancestral identity of the American Negro. Example, Indians uh, burning referred to as Negro, Indian and Negro, Negro. The yeah, Seminole are definitely our people, a tribal leader. Truth is coming out. Indigenous North Americans. Look at the turbans. Aboriginal clothing. <clears throat> they had the long, the robes, the turbans. I believe this is from Nature Knows No Color Line, the Moors of Yorkshire, Negroes in coats of arms of noble families. North American Indians. Look at the fringes. African American inventors. 
Negroes in coats of arms. There was an old saying by the so-called white man, kill the Indian and save the man. They brought us from Africa. I can't see this, but what they didn't tell us, they pull this up. Kingdom of Judah. Why the Judah? Free, free, free blacks of Israel Hill. Cousin of Thomas Jefferson, these Israelites, Israelites, and other free African Americans. Edom, Edomites. The kingdom of Edom was founded during the 13th century BC, according to archaeological evidence. In the process of about four centuries, the government of Edom changed from one one under tribal chief to a monarchy. So, I fought against the Edomites. But David conquered them and put garrisons throughout the whole land. You have your local police, that's that's a garrison. It's like an invisible wall. And it jurors, you know, they have jurisdiction over you. Uh Judah, Judah lost Edom in the reign of Jehorem when when she revolted against him about 847 BC, about 50 years, at, years later, Amaziah, king of Judah, inflicted a severe defeat on the Edomites. Yeah, Amaziah was a damn idiot king because he worshiped their God. He saw his God. It says, reason king of Syria at war with Judah, captured Elah and drove the Jews out. When Jerusalem was destroyed and Judah depopulated uh, by the Babylonians in 586 BC, the Edomite rejoiced over the affliction of the Judeans and began to take over the southern part of Palestine. They got it now, and they had it back then. Eventually, they uh, penetra penetrated as far north as Hebron. This uh, action 
intensified the already smoldering hatred between the Jews and Edomites. See Psalms 137, verse 7, Ezekiel 25, verse 12 to 14, Amos 111, uh, Obadiah 10, Ob Obadiah 1, uh, from the 10th verse to the 14th verse, read the whole rest of it, main, mainly the 18th verse. And, th and that sh this proves that Esau is still here. Kingdom of Judah. I got to find where it said that we escaped in 70 AD. Well, maybe I read it. Tribe, you can see it, tribe, tribe of Judah. It says Judah, the tribe, is by no means in Israel. The city was also abandoned. See, that's why the heathens are, are there. Until, until the time of the heathens be fulfilled, Gentiles be fulfilled. Now in Romans 11, it says 25, 26, I think it's the 26th verse. Until the, until, until the time of the Gentiles be come in. Those Gentiles are Israelites. The other part, I believe that's Matthew 24. Until the time of the Gentiles. It's talking about the other nations coming into our land. The dispersion of Judah started in the time of Jeremiah. 485 BC and continued through 70 AD. These men and women fled over the Atlas Mountains, mountain, passing into Morocco. Uh, many went further. Many went further into places beyond. But you can see here on the map, tribe of Judah, tribe of, tribe of Simeon tribe of Judah. There goes Judah again. Jerusalem, Bethlehem. tribe of Judah, Simeon, Bethlehem, Jerusalem. When the English came over to the Americas, they, like New York, is named after Old York in England. New Jersey is named after Old Jersey in England. New Hampshire is named after, a name after 
Hampshire, and England. New Canaan. The old Canaan is on the other side of the world. Tribe of Judah. Tribe of Simeon. Negro land. That's why they called us Negroes. The uh, the Zandavan says not the Negroes because we weren't the, we weren't the people of Ham. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.